Hey everybody! Today's video is going to be the classic demonstration of the silver tree, which I've done many times before, but I've never actually filmed. All it requires is silver nitrate, which I've got in the bottle there, uh, distilled water, and a bit of copper. And my copper is just uh, copper wire, thick copper wire that I've coiled into a little spring, and uh, I've made it so that it fits into this beaker pretty nicely. The copper is a little tarnished because um, I've used it, I've used this piece for this exact demo a couple of times before, but it should still work for this one, so we should be all right. Now, with my experiment, I'm going to aim to produce one gram of silver metal at the end of this. So, I've calculated that I'm going to need 1.6 grams of silver nitrate, which will weigh out right now. Slightly over, but that's all right. And it's probably a good thing, actually, because silver nitrate is supposed to be uh, snow white. But I don't know if you can tell, but my silver nitrate is actually gray. There we go. It's a little bit gray. That's because silver nitrate is uh, sensitive to light. So normally you want to keep this stuff in a, uh, a dark bottle, an opaque bottle, kind of like what they put um, hydrogen peroxide in. Apparently this bottle is not quite opaque enough, and it's been slowly decomposing um, just by being exposed to light. So maybe I should put that in a different bottle. But anyways, that's my 1.6 grams of silver nitrate, and now we're going to dissolve that in about 25 milliliters of water. Silver nitrate is very soluble, so this should dissolve in no time at all. Okay, I've got my solution made, and now I'm just going to toss the uh, little coil of copper wire into it. You can see almost immediately we get a change to start happening. So the copper wire has started to tarnish maybe. Maybe it has a bit of a bluish white color to it now. And I can already see there's little bits of something growing on it. It looks like fuzz. It looks like the, the coil of copper is starting to get fuzzy. Now it's only been a few minutes and we can see there's a really clear change has happened. So we started out with a clear solution, which we put a uh, reddish metal into. And now what we're ending up with is what looks like a white or silvery colored metal. And the solution is starting to turn blue. This is one of my favorite uh, demonstrations to do for uh, kids to show them some of the cool stuff about chemistry because it's real easy to set up and you get such a drastic change. It's very, very impressive to them. Also, the fact that it's silver metal is pretty cool. So what's actually happening is this is a single displacement reaction. We're starting with copper metal plus silver nitrate solution will give us silver metal plus a copper nitrate solution. And the copper nitrate, uh, the copper two ion, is what's coloring it blue. You can see that it's, it starts off, uh, you get a pretty immediate change which is interesting for the kids and then usually what I'll do is I'll go on do other things in the meantime and then come back to this later in the day and uh, it's significantly different which you'll see once we get to that point.
At this point we can see the solution is much darker blue and the silver crystals are just beautiful. Um, they're very very spiky and extremely shiny. Now at this point, the crystals start to look a little gross. I think this is because uh, it initially grows really nice, small, single crystals, um, but then those kind of start branching out more and more and more like little snowflakes. And the more tiny crystals that you have, they, uh, they absorb light a little better, so it'll look blacker and blacker. So the, uh, the crystal tree now might look a little less pretty, but it is still all silver metal, which is pretty neat. About a half hour since my last clip and roughly an hour since we started this reaction, you can see the silver tree has really filled out. Uh, all of the silver crystals have, have grown like crazy and they're all sort of intermeshed with each other and um, we just kind of have a, a big blob, that's kind of what it looks like. Um, it's very, very cool though. You can see the um, solution is very, very blue also. And uh, here's another angle on it. You can see we got some nice little uh, hanging growths um, coming off the top spiral there. And here's some more on this side. Well, now it's been about nine hours since we started, and I think it's pretty much done. You can see the silver is very, very fluffy. We've got a nice dark blue solution. And uh, I haven't seen it grow in a while, so I think this is it. But uh, it's very, very cool, and you can see that it's grown quite a bit. I like uh, these crystals in the front here. They look very fuzzy. It almost looks like mold. I think that's just a lot of really tiny crystals that have branched out. Uh, so really cool stuff. So now what I want to do is recover the silver metal. And uh, sometimes I'll do this in a Erlenmeyer flask and the, the silver tree grows so big, people think that, oh, he's never going to be able to get that out of there. But actually, the tree is extremely fragile. So you can see, even if I just kind of move this around a little bit, it's, very, it's ready to fall off. So all I'm going to do is take my uh, copper wire here and just shake it around a little bit. And it all just comes right off. So now I'm left with my copper wire my solution of copper nitrate, and my pile of silver crystals. So now what I need to do is filter that off to uh, separate it from the solution and I'll dry it out overnight. 